Real talk. How y'all feeling about the animation of this, of this series? First episode half, I was like, okay, seems kind of decent. And then they let the true colors show. And episode one and two was pretty good, but it was just a whiplash of the immersion being ruined as you transition from 2D to CGI. And the third episode was pretty mid, not gonna lie. Because like the content, I guess, to adapt was what we just made up the labyrinth, we meet the new elf girl. That's a bit more, you know, low times compared to the first two episodes. Hopefully they can get to a new arc and we can get some stuff going on. We met a slime, his name is like, it's something cute, I forget, Piggy, Piggy Maru. We have this new elf girl who has some, you know, past and why she's running away from home, but it's looking like we're, you know, solidifying our party. And on the other side, for our student side, right? They're also collecting different factions and we got to know some more trash girls, but there's also a different girl who actually is in love with Toki for whatever reason. Anyways, let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> okay, she's playing it off like we're a country bunking because that should have been like a red flag, but okay. Alright, we're in. The marquee. They need more foot soldiers. あるにはありますよ。Money talks. You just show a little bit of fucking coin and they change their tune so quick. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yes, come on in. Hi, hi, かしこまりました. さっそくご案内いたします。調子のいい。ハティスコールです。ハティスコール。that name is obviously not ours, but is that a reference to something that we've seen before? Is it a completely made up name? I don't remember. Was it the name of the fucking people we met in the labyrinth, maybe? I don't remember. The woman known as the Princess Knight, the elf girl? Hello. ここはいわゆる町の把握はこんなところかうまい味は大雑把だなジャクソ <笑> And we're Ulza, right? We're the monster slayers. So there's like three separate other, you know, factions as well. And I'm gonna assume that the elf girl is from like, you know, the holy order of the purge because, I don't know, she just seems to have some kind of like religious themes, maybe? Rick, okay, okay. Bakus Empire, who wiped out the Holy Empire of Nia. This is the shit I like. Where you start to do world building and you make me give a fuck about this story. Now they're trying to actually flesh out this world that we're not really aware of. Many different factions. Bakus Empire, who nearly wiped out the Holy Empire. I'm gonna... I don't know what the Holy Empire is though. Is that part of the elf girl? Five Dragon Knights. Humanity's strongest and hero and us hero slayer. So they're like drag of course they're gonna be CGI dragon knights right over here, right? But like this is actually not CGI down here. They got it close and it's actually 2D dragons, just partially. But these two, right? There's a humanity strongest. I don't know which one of these two is, but there's also the hero slayer, which sounds Pretty fucking cool that he goes around killing fucking heroes that's gone summoned here. That's for Piggy. Hey, we stole the plate. Bro stole the fucking plate, by the way. There's no takeout. Just fucking stole the plate from the restaurant. What in the fuck kind of... <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. The Forbidden Archer something can make Piggy better. 
ミルズもまた賑やかになってきたな。That's our place right now. 新体操発見は土地に隠れていた。Time to go find a new floor then. I'm gonna assume it's spread over here, right? So we have a reason to go in and help the Marquis and get some clout, find some new places, get the Skeleton King, whatever, Matt, and make Piggy Maru better. ミルズ遺跡 Yep. 遺跡ダンジョンの攻略か。ずは集まってくれた。Hello. わしはクレッド・ハークレイ。Hello, クレッド。大塚のハークレイ公爵として新たなる階層が発見された。ショグルナにはその探索を依頼した。ドラグナイチャレス。ドラグナイチャレス。ドラグナイチャレス。ドラグナイチャレス。ドラグナイチャレス。ドラグナイチャレス。ドラグナイチャレス。ドラグナイチャレス。ドラグナイチャレス。ドラグナイチャレス。ドラグナイチャレス。ドラグナイチャレス。ドラグナイチャレス。ドラグナイチャレス。ドラグナイチャレス。ドラグナイチャレス。ドラグナイチャレス。ドラグナイチャレス。ドラグナイチャレス。ドラグナイチャレス。It must be the elf knight, right? It's gotta be her right over there. But I was gonna say that the voice acting right now it sounds like a scummy dude. She is. She's like a princess knight or something. Wow. He knew, like, straight up who it would be. Like, That was no random guess. Like, that's a very specific person. Elven Knight Captain. Paladin Captain. Yeah. You shouldn't be saying that out loud. You're literally telling everybody that you got rejected by her for a dinner invite. This does not make you look good, bro. <laughs> Bro, take a clue. They are very ripe. They, they are, I mean, if there's, you got one thing going, cameraman knows, right? They are very right. Right, right, right. Right, right, right. Right, right, right. Right, right, Tolka, can you just fucking sleep? Just fucking sleep his ass, bro. This guy yapping too fucking long. Yapping is my job, man. Make this guy sleep. Or an idiot. The, uh, the, e the I bet the ears won't be pointy. Or Tolka will make a move right now. He makes monk drogeti. Monk drogeti. The ears. Did do we remember seeing her ears last episode? Actually, I don't remember. Maybe she had it before. Maybe she never had it. Maybe she's like a half elf, and therefore she doesn't have elf-like ears. Do I? Because like she did have the hood on the entire time, right? Body. Mori de otto. Face is different too. Okay, hold up, but this is the girl that we saw last episode, though, right? This is. But oh fuck, I, I did I should have played more. Did she say her name last episode? I genuinely can't remember. The main character just confirmed it, but I'm not sure if he's also confused. But this is not Sterasashren. It's a separate girl. Okay, the face is different too. そんなバカな人違いって一瞬というのはどいつもこいつも覚えておけミスト・バルーカス Bro What did you just say? 一瞬マジに噂の騎士団長かと思ったじゃねえかゆるさん見目うる Every last one of you beautiful women is Bro have you just tried go hang on ugly women then? Oh, you get rejected there too, bro. Get the fuck out of here. What a clown. Wait, what? Oh, Jesus. She's carrying something. What if she has Seda's Ashrain in her back? Right? Because, like, she clearly has something that she's carrying, like a bag. What if the Elven Knight Captain is, like, in the fucking. Like, Tanjiro, bro. Like, Nezuko kind of shit. あの、え、まあ、それとさっきは災難だった。あれくらい大した問題ではない。さっき絡んできたあの男、怒りと憎悪です。今は好まれて近づかれるより。
嫌われて相手を意図的に避けているのはわかるそれを踏まえた上で頼みがあるんだ Party with us Yeah, we need a guide. Yeah, we need some kind of guide navigator. Oh, we got money! We got a lot of money! Mr. Barucas. Still lying about the name. Yeah. The soundtrack is very unique. Even last episode, remember how they were playing like Wild West cowboy kind of themes? And I kind of understood because he's supposed to be like a lone ranger kind of deal, you know? Betrayed by everybody walking in alone solidarity. I don't know. The soundtrack is pretty interesting. What I noticed about this anime as well is like the characters, if you look at their designs, they always have this like blue outlined. Notice the blue right over here. Right? Notice the blue right over here. Blue. And like the blue over here. Something? I'm not sure why they're doing it. Maybe it really like makes the characters like pop out more. Interesting, you know, decision to do that. I think the last time I saw something so unique with that shit was like no game, no life. Or like even Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan, they have such bold, thick ass, you no know, black outlines. No game, no life, I think, used like reddish tint with the outlines, right? Made a really interesting, um, I don't know, just decision from the creative direction. Alright, then give me the money back, bitch! Ooh. Why is she fall? What are you carrying? Oh, you can come sleep at our place. What's up, Piggy? Let's go. Here's the ruins. Oh, dear Lord. The thing about the labyrinth, and I know that this is not the first time that they switch CGI. You know how I meme about the CGI as soon as they turn around? I have also noticed the darker the scenes are the more ballsy they are with like showing cgi even if he's like front facing so anytime we're in the labyrinth you know dark places like that oh boy we about to get some peak cgi baby now this ruins should be so easy bro was sent to one of the most endgame, most dangerous hells that's ever existed here, right? So in terms of video game terminology, we were always in like the endgame territory. This shit should be a fucking breeze. Nothing should be comparable, right? Wait, what did he just do? <laughs> yeah, easy. I don't know, this guy's drip. Bro, you got- I don't know, it, this is just not it. So, he just looks like a goofball. Like, it's not even just making fun of old-time armor. Something about this whole fur, this little helmet, this little sword. He just looked dumb. Debuff, baby. Yeah, none of them are even close. We're not gonna get any XP here, man. Ugh. Can we just sleep and poison all three of these idiots? Also, bald! Just the worst type of fucking character, bro. He just deserves to die so much. <laughs> Dude, even these two are like, yo, this guy's gonna fucked up. <laughs> like, I'm not sure if I wanna do this anymore. What? 
Last episode too, bro. It's just like so creepy, bro. You always have to make all these dudes so rapey, man. Like, come on. Yep. <laughs> I said paralyze. No, no, no. In order to meet these acts of evil, we need to counter with more evil. Poison. Yeah. Enjoy, motherfuckers. I love it. I love that this character, this main character, is so like morally gray and is willing to do some dark shit that most pussy ass, you know, white knight hero main characters could never do. I prefer a morally gray character like him who is clearly doing some fucked up things, but in a justified way to those who are truly evil. <laughs> Yes, so shit on them. Shit on them more. <laughs> Should have show me it, man. Okay, one more floor. But it's too easy for us, right? Wonder what the elf girl's doing. Well, she's not even an elf, actually. The Saber Tigers. Oh? Oh, that's us. We're doing that. Right? Oh my god. I, I was focused on her. I was focused on her, but I didn't realize this right over here. I... 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 This is the true danger right over there. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder who could be doing that, guys. Oh my. They have no clue. <laughs> they have no fucking clue that he's just going around and just like poisoning everything. Everything's dying. They're like, oh shit, something is wrong in these rooms. We need to get the fuck out right now. <sighs> There's a chalice! Hmm. So you're telling me that there's a chalice or in the open, but there's also a gargoyle dragon to the right. And if I pick up the chalice, Surely, that dragon thing won't attack us, right? Mm. Exactly, even he's saying it. Poison! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for not picking up the chalice and then having the most fucking cliche shit out and he's like, you know what? I'm a fucking paralyze the statue. I know your ass is gonna move pretty soon. That was great. That was actually great. Yep. Wait, but the whole thing wasn't to get this chalice, even though that was the mission. He needs to kill the skeleton king something and get the mats so that he can use it on piggy maru right oh Antaka. hello mr barukas wow chalice riz nothing now we're good that's ah, fine it's fine bye bye his alias. Oh, beautiful women. All right, then you're not beautiful. Especially a beautiful woman. You're lying. All right, you're ugly then, bitch. 
俺の目的よ。おお、基本俺の個人的な仕事たちは護衛をやっといなし。それからお願いが一人で上へ戻ることになっても、俺は責任を持てない。It's you know, it's an etchy ass scene happening. Okay, new mechanic. So, monsters with golden eyes, just juicy, juicy EXP bonus. Hey, that's us! Yeah, and that's why he leveled up so much. That makes sense, that makes sense. Just like Piggy Maru then, right? Hold up, they're regular monsters, right? Hold up. Piggy, regular monster. Demon King Essence! Hold up, hold it. This is really important. So, remember the two methods of getting back to Earth, right? The goddess said you need to basically kill the demon king, but there's kind of two different ways. One is to, like, get the heart or some shit. I forget. Maybe just kill demon lord, get some kind of heart. And the other is to fill up this item with the demon king essence, right? This is that demon king essence right now. <laughs> Man, I'd have to go back. So every monster in that labyrinth that we were in, were they all golden eyes? I can't remember. But if they were, it makes a lot of sense while we're getting so much fucking level, plus the fact that he was such a small, you know, a level at the beginning too. What does that suggest? Because, like, the gold radiation is from the demon... Lord Essence. The monsters have those golden eyes because of an influence to the Demon Lord Essence. This dude was glowing in gold. Why? After he was given powers by the goddess. Which means that the goddess's source of powers that she gave to these other worlders utilized the Demon Lord Essence. Is that not what it's implying right now? Hmm.魔物の気配がします。魔物ずっと感じているのです。私たちのすぐ近くに。ピギマル。ほら。仲良くしてやって。じゃあ、レギュラーモンスター。ほら。大丈夫なのですよね。うん。ああ。私はミストバルーカス
Like, the reason that I didn't believe that she was using some kind of concealing magic is simply because, like, oh, elf ears in the face is different. And, like, she was carrying some shit. And I thought they were trying to do something really smart. Like, it's like a fake princess, like an alias that they created so that the real princess could get out. But it's just, it was just that simple. It's illusion magic. Is the face that different? The face is the same! That dumbass, like... Yeah, the ears are different. But he said the face was different. Like, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? That was the event of last episode. Were they that scared, really? Wait, which one? Is this the hero sir? No, he's humanity's strongest. That's actually so hype. Civic Gartland, humanity's strongest. So he's the he's not the hero slayer, but he is like humanity's strongest. Basically, kind of like Masayuki from Ten Zero, like one of the greatest fucking heroes of all time or some shit. Anyways, humanity's strongest. This is the hero slayer. Wait, I thought. There was a humanity, there, there was like the strongest dude, and there was also a hero slayer. There was two distinct ones, but you're saying that the hero slayer is the humanity strongest? It was just oh, that's fucking lame. I thought that there was like two people. They showed two people in that fucking scene. Two dragon riders. Two people. White knight, dark knight. And I thought one was supposed to be humanity strongest, the other is supposed to be like a hero slayer. Some sort of like dynamic duel happening, but it sounded like it's just him. And that is the end of today's episode. And you know what? I actually enjoyed this episode because of the world building I was doing. Some of the things that's really important going on is, I guess, you know, clearing these Millis ruins, which is just an excuse for us to, you know, get uh, Piggy Mouse stronger by utilizing the Forbidden Arts by getting that mat. But the other important stuff was overhearing the different factions. So many different factions as I've mentioned. But I think that um, one of the most important things mentioned was the Dragon Knight, right? These Baku Semper Black Dragon Knights, apparently... Again, if we look at the title here, it says they got the Humanity Strongest and the Hero Slayer. It just makes it sound like plural. It makes it sound like there are two characters. And, I don't know. It just feels like um, they're the people that were... That destroyed, you know, the holy nation that their elf princess is from. And, yes, Sera Sashrain is simply just that girl. I thought they were trying to do something Giga Brain, and I didn't really want to believe that it was as simple as cosmetic magic, but it was. Also refreshing to see Toki using common sense, you know, the holy chalice, the dragon chalice. He's like, well, gee, I wonder what's gonna happen if I pick this shit up. You know, is, is the fucking gargle thing gonna move? Yeah, it's gonna be. So he, he min maxed that shit. And then the rest is just history. I think one of the most important things as well is the golden eyes. They all originate from the Demon Lord's essence. And, you know, the heroes as well, you know, glue gold, meaning that the source of the goddess's powers given to, you know, those people are demon source essence related. And the goddess's eye as well, I think it was golden. So there's a lot of overlap with what the goddess is doing, what she wants out of the heroes to bring back more, you know, essence. And at the end of the day, maybe her goal is to make sure that more power, she can become more powerful by, I don't know. The goddess is obviously evil. And clearly she's using the Demon Lord's Essence in her own ways. And that's pretty much it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.